Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today I'm going to show you in Design Space how to do a 3D block letter. And we are using 12 by 24 cardstock to make it as big as possible. So yeah, that's today's project. <laughs> uh, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support that I can get from you guys. And all right, let's get started. So first thing is there are lots of places to get your 3D um, block letters. I get mine uh, from Etsy, from Nilmara Quintella. I like her files because the letters are kind of thicker, there's more room to decorate, and they're very sturdy and stable. So when you first bring it in, this is what it looks like. Um, and I'm actually, I'm gonna start over from the beginning, but I just wanted to show you what the end project looks like. So here are the tabs for the letter I, and actually let me go grab the letter I so that you can have a better visual. So as you can see, this one's pretty big. I mean, look, it's bigger than my face. There, you can see it now. <laughs> and, um, I started to decorate it, but it was a hot mess, and that's another story that I will talk to you once we get started. Um, you know, sometimes you can plan out your content and you have a really good idea of what you wanna do, and yet it doesn't really look as good when you actually cut everything and put it together. So here is the file. What we ended up doing is, I'm, I ended up doing a lot of flowers so that you can kind of see what it looks like. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this aside and this is just gonna be here for me for reference on how big I made it because I didn't, um, you know, I didn't follow my own steps. I didn't make it an exact whole number. So let's go and we're gonna upload. So here is my letter I right here. So when you buy on Etsy or from anybody, you're gonna have to download the SVG file and then upload it into Design Space. So mine is already uploaded. Here it is, I'm gonna add to Canvas. Now, this eye comes in like this. What's great about, and I'll make this just a little bit bigger so you can see, Nomara's files come with sort of just like clues. So this circle starts right here. So this piece goes right above here. The letter I is really easy to do because you'll know the next one is this piece, which has to be here, and then a smaller piece, and then a longer piece. These two pieces are identical because then you're gonna start from here and go up and around so the eye is really easy this is your top and your bottom eye all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to resize it i am using 11 i'm sorry i'm using 12 by 24 cardstock for this because i wanted to make it really really big so let's ungroup this for now okay and i'll move these two over here and what you can do is if you really want to maximize how big it is you can um we can rotate this. So we're gonna rotate this 90 degrees. So now it's standing up, right? We'll put this down here. And you can get rid of these, um, the, your little clues. I'm just gonna delete it. I'm gonna highlight it and delete it. Now I'm gonna grab these four items and I'm gonna to go to align and I'm gonna align bottom. So now they're all on equal, um, on an equal line so that I can see how tall everything is compared to each other. So my tabs are at 14 inches. Technically, I can go up to 23.5 if I wanted to, right? So what you, when you resize your letters though, you wanna grab everything because everything needs to be sized accordingly, otherwise it's not gonna match up, right? So in this case, I'm gonna go to my height. Wait, hold on, what's going on here? Why is my, my height not matching up? Okay. My height is, I don't know what to tell you right now. This is wrong. The width is 22 inches, which doesn't match up anymore. <clears throat> this is 14 inches by three. Okay, let me grab it now. Yeah, it's still not giving me, it's giving me the old height for some reason. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna stretch it out by hand basically. So now I know this is 19 inches. I can make it a little bit bigger. Let's see how big my eye is. My eye right now is 11.8. Um, we can make this bigger if you want to, right? So we'll grab all of this. So right now it's up to you how big you wanna make this. We can, like I said, we can go up to 23 and a half inches. Um, so Totally up to you. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you. 
I'm gonna get rid of this because we don't need it. We're gonna make this really big, similar to the one that I have. So actually the one that I have, the letter I is, let's see how big this is. I'm gonna measure it really quickly. It is almost 12 inches. So this is gonna be about the same size. Let's see, it's almost 12 inches. This is actually bigger. So I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller so that it matches. Okay, 11.9. So 11.9 can cut on 12 by 12 cardstock, right? You just need a 12 by 24 mat if you have a Cricut Maker 3. Um, if you have a Cricut Maker or below that, um, you can check your computer and just say, yes, I'm gonna cut 12 by 24, but I'm gonna put my paper all the way at the edge, you know, so that it cuts, because it can technically cut 12 inches, right? All right, so this looks about right. Now we're gonna go into um, shapes. No, I'm sorry, images, images. And I want 3D flowers. I'm gonna show you a few that I like. Um, I I chose this one. Um, I also like my spiral. It it's a good filler, and it doesn't look like a flower, but it's just it's really pretty. I like that one. I also like this one. Um, you know, you can just pick a bunch of different ones so that you get a variety, and then you're gonna change. So what you're gonna do? What I would recommend when you're doing. Um, a bunch of flowers like I did for Isabella behind me is you pick about four flowers and then you pick about four colors and then you're going to resize them so that you have the same you know four and four but uh, in different sizes so that it looks very cohesive in the end um, let me show you one of my favorites though um, I think you know what I used a bunch of these oh I used this one And there's one more. It's my absolute favorite, and it's the rose. And it's got extra petals on it. And, uh, oh no. Okay, hold on, you know what? Let's go back out, and then go back to my saved project so that we can see all the flowers that we used. That will be a lot easier to find. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna customize this one, replace it. And let's look at all the flowers that we have, okay? <clears throat> so this is the 3D cactus flower. It is super pretty because you end up curling it up. So that's one of my favorites. Let me see what the image number is. <clears throat> um, interesting. I thought I could get, where is the info? Did we lose that? It should tell me what image number it is. So it's a 3D cactus flower. I'm gonna maybe go to the front, hold on. Let's go back, this is craziness. So where is my, here it's this one. So I'm gonna click on this and let's, Where are all my images? What happened? That is... I don't know what to make of this. I'm kind of surprised, actually. I'm gonna have to get you... Oh, here, image info. Is it just not on the top one? Okay, it's not on the top layer. So image info, you can see it here. I'll make sure that it's all identified. So. Like I said, pick a couple different flowers, pick like four, maybe five, and then I'll show you what you need to do. So we've got the cactus flower, we've got a 3D flower here. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've got a bunch of 3D flowers. Um, oh, this is the one that I really like. I like this one, this one's a spiral. Um, and here's my rose, hold on. This rose right here. Um, I'm going to bring it in so that you can see exactly what it looks like. So you 
you always with these 3d flowers if it's ever like in a circle like this you always start from the outside and you roll it in towards the center and then you glue it to the center so this one you're going to start it and then you add the each individual rose petals so where you have the little slit you're going to put glue and then you're going to you're going to pick up the paper a little bit so that it overlaps because it overlaps, it props up the petal, so it comes and it sticks out a little bit. So it's really, really pretty. So, all right, so we've got that. Let me make this smaller. Now, this gal, I'm going to detach. This one I bought on Etsy. So you can buy the image or you can do it yourself, okay? So what I did was I pulled my eye out. My not my literal eye, <laughs> but my project eye. I'm gonna make this smaller, and I wanted her to basically swing back and forth on the on the letter I. So make this um, match your letter, right? And then what you wanna do is, because I'm printing this out on sticker paper, I wanna do an offset so that I have something to stick it to, okay? So click on offset, and lately I've been doing 0.05. That has been my magic number. I like it really thin. I'm gonna hit tab so that it updates to the 0.05 and I'm gonna apply, okay? And that one, I think I believe I did it in gold paper. Okay, so there's our little girl. Now, once you get your flowers, this is what I would do. Um, I would print out, or not print, cut. Cut whatever color first, right? So I'm gonna move this down. Let's just make this all the same color, okay? So I'm gonna go. Um, you also have your letter right here so that you can kind of see like how big you want your flower. Like this flower is gonna remain pretty much the same and this one, right? Um, it's harder to tell on these rolled flowers how big it would be. But when you drop it in, I try to make it about the same, like a little bit bigger because <coughs> I know I'm gonna roll it in. But you can make different sizes, and then what will happen is, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna make this a different color, because I'm gonna show you what I do in, to, on the Make It page. So I'm gonna make this purple, okay? So when you go to Make It, I click OK. I'm gonna make this, let's, I'm gonna do three copies, okay? So I'm gonna go to the purple, and it's gonna cut on two pages. Okay, I'm gonna cut it. Then I'm gonna cancel out. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna grab everything, all the flowers. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And then now when I go to make it, I'm gonna make it again, still the three, right? But this time, instead of sending it in purple, I'm gonna send it with pink paper. Then I'm gonna go back I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. I'm gonna have however many colors you use. Let's say you use four colors. I'm gonna have them in four different sizes. So four different sizes, four different colors, four different flowers. That's gonna give you a very cohesive look, but it's still not gonna feel like it's exactly the same thing. So that's how I work my flowers. Um, let's go back over here because I saw on the Make It page. On this one, I don't want this to be print then cut. I just want this to be basic cut. That's gonna be on gold paper or whatever color paper that I do it on. Now you see there's some little pieces in there. Let me make this bigger so you can see that. I don't ha like these little cuts, so I'm gonna go to contour. I'm just gonna hide it all and make it a solid piece, okay? All right, so we've got that. Let's see what else we need to do. Okay, sorry. The other thing with Nomara's files though is you see um, the cut dash lines? We need to attach those. So, um, oh, they are already attached. Okay, I guess I didn't need to do that because this is the old file. I've already done it. What you wanna do is you wanna grab, what happens is when it first comes in, it comes in like this, where the two files are grouped together, but they're not attached. So let me show you what that, what that looks like when you go to make it. So when you go to make it, one of them was attached, right? The other one wasn't. So the dotted lines aren't on this piece. 
it's randomly over here. We wanna make sure that the dotted lines go on the tabs exactly where it was meant to be, right? So what you would do is you would grab the two like this and you would attach it. That means we're attaching the dotted lines exactly over this tab so that it cuts properly. All right, so I think we have everything. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have two tutorials for assembling it because originally I wanted to do a shaker and it turned out horribly. I didn't like the way it looked. So I then went and did the full on flowers that we haven't pieced together yet, which is why we have this. But we have this little girl swinging. So I'm gonna show you how to piece that together. All right, but in case you wanna do a shaker on the inside, this is what I would do. So you have your eye right here, right? I would do an offset and I would do a negative offset, okay? Um, I would probably do 0.25. That will give you a little bit more leeway to cover up your seams and stuff and apply, okay? So see, it gives you on, on the inside like that. Then what you do is you grab these two items and because I moved it, I'm gonna center it again and then I'm gonna slice. This will give you this outline. Oops. Oh my gosh. You see, I'm gonna change the color so that you can see it better. So now you have an outline like this so that if you did this layer in acetate, then you can have a shaker and you can put all your sequins and stuff inside the box, right? And then this will be sitting on top. Or if you just wanted an outline, you could do this too. Like it could still be a solid color, but you wanted another outline on top. So that's how you do your outlines. And I think we have everything. So let me know in comments if I missed something or if you still have a question, we'll get back to you. Um, or if you wanna see something or you have a special request. All right, I will see you guys next time. Thank you.